entire life, is Machiavelli's The Prince, written 500 years ago. Machiavelli, of course, has this reputation as an evil, opportunistic, cynical, manipulative character who describes all too accurately to this day how to go about winning and retaining power. I don't wish you to think for a moment I used Machiavelli as a guide to my own behaviour because I'm really a pretty optimistic idealist, but it really taught me about what you're up against in the real world of cynical opportunists out there. The other point about it, more personally I guess, is that I studied uh, this book in my final year matriculation in Melbourne. It was this more than anything else that I think got me to university because I did very well in the final exams but writing essays about this and that got me a scholarship which might otherwise have not got me to university. But to give you a flavour for those of you not familiar with Machiavelli, let me just read a couple of passages. The first one uh, as follows. Whoops. Um, is it better to be loved or feared, or the reverse? The answer is that one would like to be both one and the other, but because it's difficult to combine them, it's far better to be feared than loved. One can make this generalization about men. They are ungrateful, fickle, liars, and deceivers. They shun danger and ask a greedy for profit. While you treat them well, they're yours. They would shed their blood for you, risk their property, their lives, their sons so long as they sit above, as danger is remote. But when you're in danger, they turn away. Any prince who has come to depend entirely on promises and has taken no like precautions ensures his own region, his own ruin. As Graham Richardson might have said more recently, if you want a friend in politics, buy a dog. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> then one other passage also captures, I think, the, the flavour of Machiavelli. Let me just uh, read it to you. Uh, a prince, therefore, need not necessarily have all the good qualities that I've described, but he should certainly appear to have them. I'd even go so far as to say that if he has these qualities and always behaves accordingly, you'll find them harmful. If he only appears to have them, they will render him service. He should appear to be compassionate, faithful in his word, kind, guileless and devout. And indeed, he should be so, but his disposition should be such that if he needs to be the opposite, he knows how. <laughs> so, uh, again, as Groucho Marx once famously said, though it could equally well have been uh, Tony Blair, sincerity is everything in politics, and if you can fake that, you've got it made. <laughs>